Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We've got some warm weather going on. We've got some severe weather once again moving into our area. They're talking about anywhere between, they're talking about four to eight inches of rain in the next three to four days here. So we're going to take this opportunity while we've got some warm weather and we're going to work on our stove pipe cleaning it out. This is something that we do a couple of times a, a, a season and ahead of this bad weather we think it's a good time to do this. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to move in here behind this. We've got some screws that hold this flame system on. We're going to get this out. What we want to do is try to slide this thimble off of this here. Be very, very careful because we don't want the ash will dump into the house. Alright, we've got that. Alright, I'm going to ask Wanda, if she will, to come over here around this side. We're going to need a bag on that end and a bag on this end. Alright, what we do is we usually take our grocery bags and we get our groceries in just as a precaution. This is kind of a safety, a safety thing here so that you don't have to worry about dumping ashes in your house. We've learned this. Now we're going to take this thing outside where we can clean it. Okay, we're outside here. I want to show you a little bit about the products that we use to clean our chimney. We have a six inch chimney brush it comes in a box like this if i can get it out i'll show it to you here this is it it's just a metal chimney brush to clean our chimney with we don't use it they make two different kinds they make a plastic one and they make a metal one we prefer the metal one this here these are rods that you use to clean a chimney out with for no more of what we're going to be doing, we're only going to be using one rod. Now these rods screw together. Okay. You see there's a lot of soot build up in this pipe. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide our 6 inch, turn it up on its end. Alright. Got that end done. going to do is and we'll see what comes out. That's how much stuff we scraped loose out of that pipe. Now we're going to turn over and do the other end. Let's see what we can get out of here now. It was getting slightly stopped up. And I always like to go back and do mine a second time. I just want to make sure it's good and clean. There's nothing in there. Notice we have a lot of soot build up here too. So if we're gonna go this far, we like to clean everything up. We'll get a wire brush in a minute. Right now I like to get everything broke loose. Alright. Well that's looks pretty rough up in there. Okay, we've opened the doors in the house and what that's done is that's created a draft up this pipe. And we're going to take and see if we can't take this brush now as long as that draft is going and try to move as much of this creosote toward the other end of that pipe before we get a back draft on some wind. Okay, let's take a look with the light now, see if we can see any difference. 
See how clean the pipe is now. It's nice and clean. No more chrysoed on it or anything. It's a stainless steel pipe. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a bag and we're going to take this bag. Now the vacuum from the house here should suck this bag up over that hole. We're going to try to stretch this bag and tie it. Alright, right now we've got it on there. Next we're going to move outside to the, uh, you see it's breathing. We're going to move outside and see if we can take our uh, cover off the bottom of the chimney. Outside the house here. Alright, get that lady to the side. We're going to take our little tool here now. We're going to see if we can break this thing loose. You want that? I'm going to do this to say, hang on, let's see. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this bag, try to get it up over this. And I'm just going to let it fall into it now that I've got it. I'm going to let all that Chris Oak come down into this bag. All right. Some metal plates in here too. Show me that. This is the load of Chris Oak that came out of the chimney here in this bag. Now we're going to be cleaning out this chimney here and I'm going to show you a little bit of a process about how I do that. Some of the stuff that we have on the homestead here. Now I've got this feed bag here like we get our chicken feed in. What I've done is I take my pocket knife about halfway up and I punch a hole in the side of it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I take my fiberglass rod and I run it through that bag like that where the rod is sticking out the side of the bag like this. And what this is for, we're going to slide this bag up here. Me and one is going to hold it. And I'm going to start that, hold on a minute. I'm going to start this brush up in the chimney now. What this does is this catches most of the soot when it falls out here and we don't have a huge mess out here. There's going to be some smuts going to come out around that hole, but it's, you're not going to get away from having it all. Alright, we're going to screw another rod onto it. Another rod. Kind of like being in the operating room. Yep. I have to be the assistant. These are four foot rods on here that we're using. What, the third one? That's the third one. Okay, we'll be coming back out. The outside chimney, we got it done. Wasn't a whole lot of smut in it, or Chris Oak. There was just a little bit. I don't know if we can get it here where we can show you that there wasn't a whole lot in there. Just, just a little bit. But we don't want any chimney fires. And we're going to take a look up through there now to make sure she's clean. Yep. It's clean all the way to the top of the chimney now. Okay, we've put our cover back on the bottom of our chimney here now and we this is kind of a homemade little deal that I made here that just as a as an insurance that that piece is not going to come off of the bottom of that I took me some aluminum and bent it up and drilled me a couple of holes and I I put me some little quarter inch self tapping screws in that okay one of the things that we do is we make sure we clean all of our tools up when we get through with them this is already clean so what we're going to do is sit that in the box baby if you don't mind get the box her, she's uncleaned her hands. Mine's not clean yet, so I'm gonna, I'll do the handle on that. We're gonna take one rod at a time after they've been up that chimney. They're completely nasty. I'll let her wipe them off and then we'll stick them back in our tube here. One of the things you'll learn, you're only as good as your tools are, so 
You don't take care of your tools, your tools won't take care of you. Okay, now that we're back inside, we're going to finish up our chimney job here. We'll get one that you will to reach up there and get that bag off. Make sure you don't spill any smut that might have got in the house. Alright. What we're going to do now, we're going to take this, slide the frame back, make sure we get it over the pipe, come to our wood heater. We're going to try to get this back on our heater here. It just sits down on it. Alright, we've got it. We'll get it all lined back up. And we're going to take our ring here. Line it back up with the drill holes. Got one of them lined up. Tighten down. Our other one over here. Alright, this should complete our chimney installation, our chimney pipe installation. If you like what you've seen today on Deep South Homestead, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.